What's going on? We're going to make our first script from scratch, kind of. We're going to cheat use chat GPT, but this is how you actually implement your own functions. So here I have this little box. I'm going to give some behavior to it. First thing I want to do, since I'm going to be moving it, I'm going to add a rigid body to it. Oh, auto selected. Okay. So that's all you need to do there. Now, if you go to chat GPT, it'll ask you to log in or create a new account, or if you just click log in with Google, you'll get this interface. So we're just gonna have it jump around the screen a little bit just to see if we can get it to work. So I'm just gonna go ahead and type in, uh, write a couple custom playmaker action that makes a game object hop around randomly, all right? So it'll think about it for a little bit. So let's go ahead and copy this. Now if you use this clipboardy thing, it copies all this text around it. I don't know why it does that, but I'm just gonna go ahead and Hand select that stuff in the box, copy it, go back over to Playmaker, or sorry, Unity. Right click in a folder, I have an assets folder. I'm just gonna go and right click that, create C sharp script. I'm gonna call this hop around. And if you double click it, it's gonna pull up our VS Code editor. And there we go. So I'm just gonna go and paste the code it gave us. All this stuff, cool, save it, we should all be set. It's gonna compile a script for us, and we are gonna to go to Playmaker, add a new FSM, and we're just gonna look for our action that we just created, and it's by name. So hop around randomly, there it is. So we're just gonna double click it. That's our cube that I just made. So we're gonna specify game object. This is the owner, but just for kicks, for clarify. clarification. Plop that in there. Minimum distance, maximum distance, one and two, I guess that's okay. So let's go ahead and hit play. And it stopped. So let's go back to chat GPT and repeat twice a second. And we'll go ahead and rewrite it for us. Let's go ahead and copy our stuff again. Plop that into our script, delete that, replace it, save it. Go back over to here. If you look at our actions, here's our hop delay, twice a second. And there we go. All right, so this is just kind of like the tip of the iceberg of what we can do. What I want to do is replace that camera um, motion I have on my neck, which was over here. And last time we had the camera and the neck joint kind of behave organically by using an animation. You see, I'm not holding it, and I don't know if you can tell uh, the camera's panning and tilting. But I figure we can write our kind of like behaviors, our, you know, breathing and other animations with chat and randomizing instead of using animations and do it programmatically. All right, hopefully this was easy enough to find. Leave a comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys and ladies later. All right, bye.